Mr. Brilliant Samples with Catholic School. Today we're just going to do the simple box tutorial to get started on the Fusion 360 software by AutoCAD, Autodesk. Sorry. Uh, first thing we're going to do is I'm going to turn on the Origin. It's not turned on in this case. Yours might be. I'm going to go Sketch, Create Sketch. I'm going to sit on the front face. I'm going to click the Sketch tool. There's different Sketch tools here. I'm going to click this one. I'm going to come from here and I'm going to go up. Now, if you look, you'll see 90 degrees and you'll see the dimensional. I can tab back and forth between those and just type those in if I want. Or I'm just, in this case, I'm going to freehand sketch. I'm just going to freehand sketch something that looks a lot like this. Uh, now, this nice thing is you come up, you can tell when this line here comes across. If I want it to be the same height, boom. So I can go like that and then grab it again, sorry. Like that. Hold the mouse button down to shift it over a bit. Back, down. I'm not worrying about sizes, not worrying about anything right now. As soon as I click closed, you'll see it went to a, a shaded part. That means it, it's a closed loop and we can, in fact, extrude it now if we would chose to. First thing I'm going to do to make things easier, we can see all the 90 degrees there. First thing I'm going to do to make things easier though, so I don't have to do so many dimensional later, is I'm going to come here and I click on constraint. And if it's not done, just drop down menu. Here's my constraint of equal lengths. So I want this length and this length to be the same. And I also want this length and this length to be the same. So that when I come in here and I go select dimension, and I select this height here, I'm going to change that one to 41.5. And you'll see both sides went in constraint. Now, you don't have to do it like that. I can, I can I'll scroll back and show you what I mean. Um, I, can just, I don't have to do the equal lengths. I can just come here and go select dimension, and I can go here. And I can go 41 decimal 5, and you'll see only one size cha side change. That just means I have to more, do more work and come over here. So I can 41 decimal 5. And to make things easier, I'm going to constrain these two. So I'm going to go constrain, boom, boom. Select the dimension here and here. And I want to change that dimension to 44. So now I want to change the overall length from here to here to 128 millimeters and that's basically it I got the oh I'm missing the depth from here to here here to here sorry I want to make it 20 so I don't need this dimension because it's constrained with this one so it's the same I don't need this one because this subtract this 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 right 41 height is the same on both sides so I'm done that particular part I'm going to click exit out of the sketch tool I can move it around now what I'm going to do is click on this face, left click, right click then and go press pull. I can grab it and I can pull it into that direction, which would make it positive, or this direction, which would make it negative if you look up here. So I'm going to pull it into the positive direction. I could type 55 into here. I could type, I could drag it to 55 here. Or I could just type in, sorry, not 55, I want to make it 50. I'm going to type in 50 right here, enter. Okay, and that is the solid model for that particular thing. The next video will show us how to cut slot here and, and, and we're going to do a bunch of different things but this one will get to get us started. All right so we'll do that first. Thank you for watching.